Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today in our maths lesson, we are going to talk about units of capacity. For our starter activity, read the following units of capacity and convert the given measurement. You have four minutes to answer these questions, pause the video, and write your answers. Time is up. Here are the answers. For number one, we have 40 ml. Number two, we have 55 ml. For number three, one liter is 1000 ml. For number four, one fourth liter is 250 ml. Did you get the correct answers? Good job. If not, stay tuned and learn from this video. Today, our learning objective is to identify and convert unit of capacity. Our success criteria. I can read the measurement in ml and l, or milliliters and liters. I can read and convert milliliters to liters. I can convert ml to l and vice versa. I can add and subtract units of capacity. Now, during the starter activity, if you get one or less, you are in red, it means you need help. So stay tuned and learn from this. Those who get two, yellow, you are getting there. And those who get three or four, you can do this. You have learned something already before. Now, we are just going to use that knowledge to answer the activities. Let's talk about capacity. Capacity means the amount that the container will hold. You can measure capacity in lots of different ways, in cups, liters, or in pints. Capacity are measured in either milliliters, in liters, or in pints. Today, we are going to focus on milliliters and liters only. So when do we use milliliters and liters? Milliliters is a unit that is used for small containers and the liters are used for big containers or big amount of liquid. Here's the activity. I'd like you to read the scale for each of the jar. You have four minutes to do this. Time starts now. Time is up. Now here are the answers. The first jar is 500 ml. The second jar is 750 ml. The third jar is 400 ml. And how do we do this? We count it from zero and we do it by 50s. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. And finally, for the fourth jar, you are asked to answer it in liters. So 1,500 milliliters is equal to 1.5 liters. And how do we do that? Here are the conversion. So for every one liter is equal to 1,000 ml. Half a liter or one half is equal to 500 ml. Three fourth liter is equal to 750 ml and a one fourth or quarter liter is equal to 250 ml. Now, for your activity two, I'd like you to convert the given measurement from liter to milliliter. You have four minutes to do this, pause the video and write your answers. Time is up, here are the answers. One liter is equal to 1000 ml. One fourth liter is 250. Two liters is equal to 2000 ml. One half liter is equal to 500. Three fourth liter is equal to 750 ml. And finally, 12 liters is equal to 12,000 ml. Just a tip if you are converting liters to ml 
or 2 milliliters, just simply add three zeros for each number. So for example, one liter is 1,000. We have three zeros on it. Two liters is 2,000. Another three zeros are added. 12 liters is 12,000. Then three zeros again are here. For activity three, convert milliliters to liters or vice versa. And you also have to answer the challenge question, which is bigger and why, four liters or 330 ml. You have five minutes to answer this activity, pause the video, and write your answers. Time is up. Here are the answers. For 2000 ml, we have two liters. At this time, it's the opposite. Simply remove the three zeros if you are converting milliliters to liters. 7,200 ml is equal to 7.2. 7,900 ml is 4.9 liters. 9,400 is equal to 9.4 liters. And 10,000 ml is 10 liters. For the challenge question, which is bigger and why, 4 liters or 330 ml? Explain your answer. So 4 liters is bigger than th 330 ml because 4 liters is equal to 4,000 ml. Therefore, 330 ml is less than 4,000 ml. And finally, for our plenary, I'd like you to answer these four Read the following units of capacity and convert the given measurement. You have three minutes to do this. Time starts now. All right, time is up. For first jar, we have 200 ml. Second jar is 800 ml. Again, we counted it by 50. So 250, 500, 750. The next is 800. 3 liters, add 3 zeros, that becomes 3,000, and 3 fourth liter is 750. I hope you have learned something today on this video. Always enjoy learning, and remember, be the best you can. Till next time, bye!